Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope that you are well. In the spirit of cleaning things out and organizing for our move, I thought we would do a shop my stash. I feel like everything has been so pared down because of our like, extended stay in New York. We did like a big clean out when we were renting our place out here. So I feel like this move, we don't actually have that much stuff or that much to sort, but we're still finding things that, you know, we can pass along to a new home or that just need to be recycled. So far, the process is going smoothly and um, my makeup collection is really pared down. I've been like really trying to use things up uh, that I have, especially in the skincare area. I have like very few excess products now, very proud of myself, and then makeup as well. So. There are definitely a few makeup items that I haven't used in a while just because I've gotten in a bit of a rut with what I like to wear and what I've been wearing every day. So I went through and I pulled out those items that I really have been like collecting dust that I haven't used. We are officially headed towards fall. We had our first rainy day yesterday. I am wearing my sweater, which I don't know, let me know in the comments, like how many years have you been watching me and how many of those years have I worn this sweater? I have it in two colors. I pull it out every single fall and winter and I just wear it like all the way through. It's just my absolute favorite. This one is probably sadly on its last year. It's getting like really pilled and just not looking its greatest, which is very sad because like I said, it's my favorite sweater. So I'm gonna start by going in with the Fit Glow Foundation. I tried this out a while ago and the color is just a so-so match on me. So I think that's why I don't reach for it that often, but I need a little bit more coverage today. We had a mosquito in our room last night, actually two mosquitoes in our room last night and we got eaten alive and I actually got a mosquito bite on my face, which is wonderful. And yeah, I could just use a little extra coverage. So I'm like debating whether I wanna just go in with the doe foot. I think I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and use a sponge. Cause again, the color match is not perfect. So it's gonna be a lighter kind of wash of this and then going in with a concealer to do all the spot stuff. I have my Jenny Patinkin sponge, which I, I really like. Uh, it's a great kind of dupe for the beauty blender in the clean beauty space. It definitely has a different feel to it, but I think it has the same effect. It just feels for me like a little bit denser. I'm just going in with a really small amount of this just to start getting like a base layer of coverage down. I do actually really like the finish of this foundation. I just find the shade match to be a bit challenging. I found that with their concealer too. I really loved the concealer and the coverage and everything but the shade matching was very difficult for me maybe if i had like the whole shade range in front of me and i could kind of you know test out the different ones but doing it online has proven to be challenging then i'm going to go in with my jones road beauty uh concealer now this is definitely a stiffer formula so i'm curious to see how it's going to work with what i have right now it does like melt into your skin kind of with the warmth of your fingers but when you apply it it definitely feels a lot stiffer and if you've been wanting to try their foundation then i recommend using this concealer with it because the foundation itself is very slippery and so you need something a bit stiffer i feel like jones road beauty is i don't know like in and out of the like beauty headlines I just watched a review where someone was really not digging it and it's definitely a polarizing brand, which I think is really interesting. Got a lot of spots to cover up as you guys can see as I draw all over my face. I hope that this super noisy bird is not transferring to you guys. If you hear this like chattering in the background, it's this insanely loud bird that is just making a ruckus outside. You can see as I'm blending it in with my fingers, it's a pretty easy blend. It definitely warms up when you use your fingers. I think using a brush for me would be challenging just because I do have drier areas to my skin that this would grab on. So I'm trying to be sensitive to that and not applying too much and then also having a good layer of moisturizer on before I put any base product. Gosh, this mosquito bite is like, really wants to be a thing and I'm trying very hard not to itch it and not to make it <laughs> red and puffy. I feel like this cheek is gonna look so swollen compared to my other one. Just happy I didn't get bit on my eye or anything. My biggest issue with concealing a lot of places is remembering where I've concealed. <laughs> so I'll forget and I'll just like walk around with like a giant highlighted spot over the zit that I'm trying to cover up, which is 
not ideal. Next, I am going to go in with this Merit Beauty brow product. This is probably the only product that I'm using today that I actually just really don't like and that's why I'm not using it that much. This is a super dry formula. I initially, when I tried it, I was like, oh, well, it's kind of like that perfect in-between like wet dry, but it's just gotten drier since then and I just don't feel like it does that much. So if you are thinking about trying Merit Beauty, in my opinion, this is a product that I would personally pass on. I also think that the shade of brown is a little bit too warm for me. And yeah, I just don't think it does anything special. So for me, this is not a winner. I definitely prefer the Westman Atelier Brow Pencil. And then if I wanna do a gel, I like the Eco Brow Gel, and I also really like the Cure Weiss Brow Gel. Those are my two favorite that I go to a lot. Kind of dabbing off any excess foundation. On my eyes, I never wear eyeshadow or <laughs> or mascara for that matter anymore, but I am gonna go in with this little Cure Weiss palette that I have. Um, it's been barely touched, which is really sad. I just am not someone who wears eyeshadow on a regular basis, but I'm gonna put on kind of like the neutral brown shade today, just to add a little bit of depth. This is the lighter brown in the palette. Bringing that up into kind of like my crease trying to remember to keep my brows relaxed. It's so tempting to like raise them, but you just don't get a sense of your actual eye shape. And then maybe a little bit of this chocolate brown just in the outer corner to deepen it a bit and onto my lash line. I'm just like pushing this in. These aren't particularly high pigmented shadows, so I feel like you can be pretty liberal with them and they still feel very soft and take very little effort to kind of make them disappear and integrate into your skin tone. A little bit more of the brown, the lighter brown I mean, trying to build up the color a little bit. But I do like these more muted shades for kind of like underneath my eye if I'm gonna add any, which I'm going to right now. Take excess off on the back of my hand and then just go to the outer corner. That's a very soft, easy way to wear eyeshadow. Okay. Mascara that I have just been not wearing at all, but we're gonna wear today is the Ilia Limitless Mascara. I feel like for whatever reason, I was getting a lot of transfer with mascara. It might have been like my skincare that I was using, the foundation products that I was using. I just wasn't enjoying wearing mascara and I also kind of like the look of no mascara. I feel like it's definitely, oh no. Okay, let that dry, don't touch it, and we will get that off. But I feel like the look of no mascara is like definitely the more like toned down makeup look, no makeup makeup look. So I just curl my eyelashes really well. It's also funny how little mascara I feel like I need now after not wearing a lot of mascara. Like this even feels a bit too heavy for me. Oh God, what am I gonna do about this? Okay, the surgical operation begins. I'm really hoping this isn't gonna look like I have a like, bruise. I'm trying to be very deliberate with how I take this off. Okay, nearly like impaled myself with this mirror. I need a new like compact mirror. I got this one as like a free uh, gift with a gift card from Sephora. So if any of you have like compact mirror suggestions, please let me know in the comments, be much appreciated. Now that that crisis is averted, we'll go in to do some blush. I am going to use this Merit Beauty product. This is their uh, cheek color in terracotta. And I'm just gonna go on my cheekbones and up and then use my fingers just to blend it in. I was originally thinking maybe about using a brush, but again, I think this formula is just better with fingers. And I also feel like as the weather gets cooler and my skin gets a little bit drier, using fingers like really helps to kind of melt product in. I really love this shade. I feel like it has like a nice warmth to it without being orange. And obviously you can use it just as a bronzer, but I kind of like it as a blush color. You know, on my chin. I'll probably need a little bit more of that because of the color I'm choosing, but I'm gonna go in with this Minori Champagne Highlighter. I reach for their blush all the time. I don't know why, I just, you know, this gets like stuck at the back of my drawer and I, I don't reach for it, but it's an absolutely beautiful highlighter. It's very golden without being too metallic-y. And Minori's like whole philosophy is definitely kind of that like minimal, no makeup makeup and they for sure accomplished that. It's a cream to powder finish and it's just really, it's really beautiful. Definitely need to bring this like back up to my main drawer. 
I'm also, by the way, looking for a new vanity table. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. It could be just like a desk that, you know, I put a mirror on. I'm looking for something that's like real wood, has a little bit of storage, whether that's like one drawer or multiple. If you guys have one that you really like, let me know. Now I'm gonna go in with a color that I just have not been wearing because it hasn't been the season two. And all of a sudden we're getting, you know, closer to winter, it's getting cooler, leaves are changing, leaves are falling. And I feel like this is such the perfect fall color. And that is the Lisa Eldridge lipstick in Velvet Cinnabar. I just love it. Kind of like a orange brick red. It's a, a velvet finish. So it's kind of this like in between where it's not matte. It's super comfortable on your lips, but it's also not high shine. You can definitely wear a lip liner with it. I kind of like more of the like undone look. It's less maintenance. So I just kind of put some on, tap it in, or kind of use a brush to rub it in. And that will act like a good, nice stain. With whatever's left over on my finger, I just add that to my cheeks. Blend all of that in. Make sure the edges are nice and soft. And then I can put on a tiny bit more for extra pigment. And there you go, that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed shopping my stash with me. I hope this inspires you to go back, look through the products that you have and see you know, what you haven't been reaching for and how you can use it. I feel like I always discover like little treasures or good combinations when I do this. And yeah, it just brings value back into the products that you already have, which is super important. So with that, I'm wishing you all a wonderful rest of your day or night or whenever you are watching this. I would love if you would consider subscribing. That means so much and really helps support my channel. And besides that, just a huge thank you for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye.